hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be talking about sap warehouse management that is wm tables so we will be talking about all the database tables related to warehouse management so let's start so the first set of tables are lqua that is for quants it's a very important table lqua b is the total quant counts for certain strategies LFR, WK, QU is the assignment user with respect to the Q. LTAK is for WM transfer order header. LTAP is transfer order item. LTBK is transfer requirement header. LTBP is transfer requirement item. LTHU is assignment of pick HUs to transfer orders. LTBU is posting change document nklv is number ranges in wm link is inventory document header in wm linp is inventory document item in wm linv is inventory data per quant so the next set of tables mostly are t300 t301 t303 t304 t305 t306 and t307 so t300 is the table for warehouse numbers t301 is the wm storage types t302 is wm storage sections t303 is wm storage bin types t304 is storage section indicators t305 is storage type indicators t306 is the special movement indicators T307 is storage unit types. So if we suffix a T after these tables, we would get the names and the descriptions. So the next set of tables is T308, T309. T308 is the requirement categories and T309 is the FAR containment sections. And the last two set of tables are T30 and T310. So T30 is WM picking areas. T30AT is the descriptions. T30B is WM gates. T30BT is zone descriptions. T310 is pre allocated stock. T311 definition of WM groups. T311A is the cross reference WM group for documents. And the last set of tables is LAGP is for storage bins. Again, a very important master data table. LEIN is the storage unit header records and then we have LL0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 wherein we are able to see the warehouse activity monitor for critical transfers, critical postings, critical deliveries, critical stocks and critical production. So these were the important tables for WM. Please go into the SAP screen and research for them and check the important fields. In the next video, we will be going inside the SAP system to check all these tables and see what are the important fields in each table. So that is all in this video. If you got value from this video, do like, comment and share with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.